Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we're going to see how to delete a calculated field in a pivot table in Excel. Pivot tables are one of the most useful tools in Excel. They are built of data sets and they summarize the data using aggregation functions such as sum, count, average, etc. While a pivot table uses the columns from the underlying data set, you can also create a calculated column that manipulates one of the values in any one of the columns. So in this example, I have a pivot table in which this column, sum of 10%, is built of sum of amount. So it is basically 10% of this column. Now having created this calculated column, I may want to remove it. There are two ways you can delete it. Either you can delete it from the display only, but it remains a part of the pivot table field list, or you can delete it entirely. So let's look at the first option. I select any cell in the um, pivot table and bring up the pivot table fields uh, pane. If this is not displayed, you can go to pivot table analyze and click on the show field list button. So here you can see that the 10% is listed as a column here. So I can either unselect it here or in this value section, go here and say remove field. So in this case, it gets removed from the display, but it is still uh, it still appears in the field list. So I can add it back at any time to the pivot table. Now, I will do that now because now we will see how to delete it permanently so that it is not part of the pivot table fields. To do this, I'll go to on the pivot table analyze menu, go to fields, items and sets and select calculated field. So this has the list of calculated fields. So I, under this, I'll select this field, which is 10% and say delete and then OK. Now, as you can see, the calculated uh, field has been removed from the display and it no longer appears in the list of pivot table fields. So this is how to delete a calculated field in a pivot table in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.